Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today we're at a test track, about an hour outside London, and we're test driving this, the Lightning GT prototype. It's an amazing electric car, and we're the first automotive journalists to ever get this on video. So, take that Top Gear. Ha <laughs> ha! Now the 2013 version is going to go 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds, have 400 horses, it's going to recharge in 10 minutes and have a range of about 150 miles. That's mind-blowing for the EV world. Lightning is a supercar. We identify the need or top end of the 100% electric cars. Why go electric? I think we have to take account that the world is changing and people are more aware of the need for lower emissions, in particular in built-up areas, zero emissions at point of use. And it makes a lot of sense, especially in a place like London, with emission zones and extra taxes for being in different quadrants. Yeah, I mean, wonderful uh, quadrants. London, you know, I drive this car every day, so no congestion charge, no parking charges in central town. It's a convenience car. Motors, there's two of them, 150 kilowatts. There's an electric differential, which is helping distribute some of the power. There's traction control and all that kind of stuff that's gonna be coming with it. Now the chassis uses an aluminum honeycomb pattern and form. They integrate the batteries into the chassis. So they didn't just build a chassis and then lay batteries on top, it's inside the chassis. Super rigid, super light, and gives it great stability. There's a lot of EVs out there. Obviously, you mentioned Tesla. Even major OEMs like Ford and Nissan are doing their own thing. So, yeah. so what makes this a different EV than what we've already seen? Firstly, it comes in the top end of the marketplace. Every marketplace has a top end niche. Secondly, it's exclusive. We're only gonna make up to 200 cars a year. And the batteries, right? Tell me a little bit about those. Those yeah, we, are really unheard of, some of the numbers that you guys are talking about here. Yeah, we went around the world to find the best batteries, and we found it in America at Alta Nano. Yes, you did find it in America, of course. <laughs> Lithium titanate batteries, the best thing about them is they take a fast charge. You can charge your car up if you have a huge off-board power supply in as little as 10 minutes. But realistically, a high-power off-board charger will see you back on the road within 20 minutes. Okay. Which is great. Yeah. And BP have announced recently, off-board, high-power, fast charging units, 50 kilowatts. That will enable you to pull into your garage, you turn left for petrol and diesel, right for electricity, yeah. plug in, Go and get your coffee. Yep. Come back, three minutes later, Fully off you go again. Up. Yep. What makes this car really impressive is the fact that it's going to be using lithium titanate batteries. Very different in the EV world. This battery is super stable. It can charge and discharge and whatever from negative 40 centigrade to 55 centigrade. One of the downsides to having a battery like this is that there's less power density. So you do need more batteries, which makes the car way more. This is about 1,900 kilograms. So we're talking about 4,000 pounds. That's a heavy car. It can hold the same amount of power from about 1% to 100%. So you don't hit like 50% of your battery charge and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I can only go 30 miles an hour. No, you have full power the whole time. Other than maybe adding some new battery technology, what's the future for Lightning? Where are you guys going? Get the volumes going on the up to 200 cars a year, and then we look at developing a, a range of cars below that. We have a fabulous looking saloon and an SUV eventually. But the platform we're developing with a twin motor, production gearbox, is a fantastic piece of work. And the car feels good already and we haven't balanced it yet, so yeah. we know we're on the right track. So it looks like 2013? 2013. Uh, we'll have cars for customers, yes. That's excellent. All right, well, uh, put us on the list. We'll take one. All right, so maybe Lightning's not there yet, but look, there's naysayers out there. I hear you. You're saying vaporware, vaporware. But today I sat in an actual car. Maybe it's not quite the production model, but look, they've come a long way. Unique battery components. It's a beautiful vehicle. Yes, they have more to go. But the truth is, Tesla started with a, a huge nest egg. This is kind of more the mom and pop approach to the EV supercar world. And it wouldn't surprise me if they actually do it. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next week.